Hello, I want to share how to fix this controller's no sound and stick drift trouble. This is my favorite controller from Turtle Beach Recon controller. So first, you have to firmware update through PC or your Xbox. So download Turtle Beach app and do the firmware update first. Then there's a two methods you can fix no sound trouble. So first thing, most of people fix their issue with factory reset. So what you do, first use a US, your USB cable, connect to your controller side first, not console side, leave that one, don't plug that side. When you plug this side, then push those four buttons. A, B, X, Y, push and hold, then you plug USB A side to your Xbox or PC until all those lights up, then leave. That's how you do factory reset. So some people, the no sound problem will fix with that, but mine didn't happen. So I was kind of disappointed. So I just moved next one, my stick drift issue. So website said, I'll show you what website said. The Wicom controller recalibration for stick drift. Okay. So this, uh, can you read? So what you do, First, same. So, controller. Sorry. So, first, same as the first method. So, put connect your USB con uh, cable from here. Only this side, not other side. Only this side. Then, push D-pad up and X together. Up and X. Like this. Push and hold. Then, you plug... USB A side to PC or Xbox. Then let it go. Then you will see these small lights will blink, blink really fast. Then what you do, this is how you do recalibration or your stick drift. But also it fixed my sound problem too. I don't know why, but factory reset didn't fix my problem. But stick drift recalibration for your controller fixed the sound issue. So anyway, so when the lights blink here, left, right, up, down, then left, right, up, down, then left trigger, light trigger, then push down and Y button together to finish recalibration like that or oh, push and hold until all those lights up or oh, when all the lights up then let it go then all of a sudden I can hear the sounds amazing yeah surprise so this give you fixed those two problems same time that was amazing and now I want to share my experience, my final thought of this controller. This controller is absolutely my favorite. I wish they make this controller for PlayStation 2. I really wish. The reason I really like is not too clicky like Xbox controller. And back button really bulky. Uh, bulky. I like this one, big chunky back buttons. And also the EQ settings as well. It's not that great, but it gives a little bit of sound effects. So EQ, you can flat sounds or bass boost, bass and treble boost, and some other two things. But I'll do bass, bass and treble boost. Also use this sound boost button too. This what it 
it's happening when you push this button, all of a sudden these older sounds become really loud and clear. So like a boost, get boost. And that's really help when I play like a shooting game, FPS game. It really helps much. You can hear your footsteps more louder and clear. I absolutely love it. That's why I use this one without really expensive headset. I bought two really expensive headset recently and even there's even better use this button so it's the cheapest way to upgrade your headset sound I mean the controller is not that cheap but it's the cheapest way to upgrade your headset sound that's why I love it all time my favorite and from now on I'm gonna use this Xbox controller again until it break I'm gonna buy a uh, one more for my wife too yeah such a great controller amazing I love it thank you for watching my video bye